find a minimum spanning tree through a graph, in this case a network, graph with numbers on, it's called a network or a weighted graph. To find a minimum spanning tree through a weighted graph uh, using Kruskal's algorithm, we do the following. Basically we want to use the small numbers, so we start by choosing the smallest number that there is, that's that edge there, so we add that. And then we choose the next smallest, well there's two choices, there's four here and there's four here. doesn't matter which we choose, I choose that one. Now the next one is the other four, so we choose that one. Notice at this point it's not even connected up. It doesn't have to be in Kruskal's algorithm. We're just using the smallest possible roots that we can. Now this five, we could use this five or this five. It doesn't matter which one. Use that one. And now it's still not connected up. Use that one there. And now we can see, not that five there, the, the arc there. And now we can see that we've got all the points connected together and the numbers that we've used are as small as possible in total. This is called a minimum spanning tree and the total is total weight is 21. You add up the numbers you get 5, 5, 4, 3 and 4 is 21. So a minimum spanning tree and the weight is 21. A couple of things to notice about Kruskal's algorithm. Firstly, it will always work. Secondly, uh, we don't have to have it connected up as we go along so there's no need for it to be completely joined as we're, as we're working. It will join up at the end. But finally, something we didn't notice, didn't see there, if this number here, 7, was smaller than the than this 5 here, let's say that 5 was really a, I don't know, a, the 7 and the 5 were the other way around, let's say. If that was the case, then we'd end up having the 3, the 4, the 4, now the next smallest is the 5, but then there's another 5. Now look what happens if we choose that 5 there. What we end up with now is a circuit or a cycle, and that serves no purpose because before we added that 5, those 3, C, F and D, were already joined together somehow. Not directly, not necessarily directly anyway, but there's nothing to be gained by adding that. It just wastes 5, so we wouldn't add it. We'd add on the next one, which would be the 6 here and we're finished or a six here and we're not finished uh, so that would that would cause a problem there uh, so, sorry six there and we are finished what am I talking about of course we're finished mm -hmm.